Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up who love the tech. And this video is going to be a quick video on um, what I believe Samsung is trying to do. Um, this is in regards of uh, Samsung's De Dex um, experience. And with this experience, it allows you to uh, use your uh, new, newer Samsung phone. I, I think starting with the um, S8 or the um, Note 8 um, up to phones of today and to use your phone um, in a desktop PC like experience um, which is pretty cool very very cool idea um, they've introduced a, a peripheral a, a dock where you would connect your phone to the dock and then connect the peripheral to your TV which allows you to use it in desktop mode however there is a device that you can use um, or different devices that you can use that gives you, that emulates that particular device that allows you to connect it to your TV um, through HDMI and through that um, peripheral to cast the image on the screen for the desktop like experience or the DeX experience as you call it. So you would basically put in the device to your phone um, with the HDMI cord connected and then you will see the image on your television set uh, and from there you can uh, connect uh, Bluetooth devices such as a Bluetooth mouse or Bluetooth um, keyboard to your uh, phone to use it like a desktop uh, computer which is kind of cool but you, you technically need a monitor to view everything so um, if you don't have a monitor, then you're tough out of luck. But if you're, you know, a business person and um, wherever you go for presentations, there is a monitor or a TV or whatever, then basically all you would need is your phone and um, a docking peripheral to uh, cast screen to use it as desktop. So you can basically uh, type uh, Word documents, you can use PowerPoint, Excel, you know, any of the uh, Microsoft Office software. Um, you can play games, things like that. So anything you do on your phone, you're basically casting uh, on a screen to do the same thing on the screen. So like I said, to be able to do that, to use PC-like uh, software, to basically ditch your PC, it is, like I said, a pretty cool idea where you don't have to carry a lot of uh, stuff for your PC, such as controllers, uh, uh, you call those SSD drives, um, things like that to you know use on your um, day to day. So, like I said, for that particular experience, it's a fantastic idea. And like I said, the really really cool idea is using it for uh, games. So, when you do hook up your phone to your system, and let's say you have emulators uh, downloaded onto your phone, such as the PP SSPP. You can take your favorite controller, Bluetooth controller, or whatnot, and you can play a game from your phone right onto your TV screen. So how how cool is that? That that is a really cool idea. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to necessarily squint your eyes or look at your phone screen. You can just look at the uh, big screen and play it from there. So like I said, to have that desktop experience is a fantastic idea. When it first was introduced, I, I it kind of drew me to buying the S9 that I have that I'm using to record this video. Um, that definitely uh, compelled me to buy it because, like I said, to use it as a PC and not having to carry a PC with you was a cool idea. Now, the question for myself was, can that experience replace my laptop? In an actual laptop. Well, this is a uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy Book. You know, shout out to Samsung. Uh, well, that that experience replaced this. And in a very simple, flat out answer, no. Why wasn't it? Even though you can use the desktop experience to type papers, to uh, use PowerPoint, to use Excel, things like that, to save and put in the cloud, yada, 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 find and dandy. I mean, plus portability is fantastic. It can't replace what you can, the, the some of the things that you can do with a regular PC that you can't do with a phone. Now, mind you, phones are now 
uh, the storage capacity of phones are getting much, much larger. Where with the uh, Galaxy S10 Plus, you can get up to a terabyte of onboard space on the phone. Makes the phone much more expensive, but just to have that on the phone without using a memory card or a micro SD card is doggone fantastic. You know what I'm saying? So you can shoot all your uh, 4K videos or whatnot, whatnot and not really re uh, worry about losing space. So having all of that extra space, even for your documents, things like that, and a nice compact phone where you can uh, use the Dex experience and cast on uh, screens, that is a fantastic device. However, there's some things that you can do on the PC that you can't do on your phone. And let me explain the thing, the, ma the main thing that I like to do on my uh, PC. Now, granted, I love my emulators. I love my retro games. So uh, when it comes to playing Sega Genesis games, Super Nintendo games, I can do that on both the S9 and my PC. S9 being much more portable and using controllers that are telescopic that can fit your phone. You can play on the go, thus making your phone look like a PSP. So um, using the phone, in my opinion, is much better than using a regular PC as far as uh, emulators and playing emulated games. But the one thing that a PC can do that your phone can't do, play PC games. I mean, how cool is it to play Final Fantasy 15 on the go? Yes, I can play Final Fantasy 15 on the Galaxy Book. Yes, I got to tweak the graphics. Who cares? Yeah, I got to dummy them down. But the point is, I can still play it full. You know what I'm saying? 50, 60 um, frames per second. You know what I'm saying? Even though they're watered down graphics, still, it's still the same game experience. I can still read the story, play the game, understand it, yada, yada, yada. I can do all that on a regular PC. You cannot do that on any kind of phone. Even though phones and uh, tablets are getting as powerful, you know, with the chipsets and things like that, um, as a PC. I mean, you've seen, for example, Samsung's attempt with the um, Galaxy Book 2, where they've used um, a Snapdragon processor to power the computer. Now, granted, you had to use Windows S, Windows S mode, to uh, uh, download your apps and things like that from the App Store. So it did not give you a full PC experience. You did so if you want to get the full experience, you of course had to um, uh, install the regular Windows on the computer, and so it just didn't fly. You know, with the Samsung um, Snapdragon processor. So yeah, you could have gotten much more battery power, but just the experience of a regular PC, you just couldn't get that with a Snapdragon processor. So the Galaxy Book has an Intel processor. Um, this is the seventh generation Intel, and so I could play, you know, level A, double A, maybe some triple A PC games on here. You can definitely play Grand Theft Auto. You've seen in one of my v previous videos, I've demonstrated that. I've demonstrated Dragon Quest 11. So you can play a lot of the cool games that are on Steam right on here. How cool is that? So again, using this for PC games and having a controller uh, set up to it. That is most awesome. And having a, a, a SSD storage device, this right here, is mainly just for my PC games that I purchased over the years. So I got a ton of PC games here. And as you can see, I already got the Velcro already on here. Got Velcro on the back. Just attach it right there. And boom, got my game portable, ready to go, ready to play whenever I need them. So to have all of this, basically everything that your phone can do, you can even text from here. You can even connect your phone to here and you can text from the screen and everything. You know what I'm saying? With the Samsung Flow um, app, you can do all the stuff on your own, plus it's a computer, plus you can play PC games, um, plus it's not very heavy. You know what I'm saying? This right here is basically my go-to as far as computing. So like I said, the Dex experience is a fantastic idea. It's and like I said, I see what you're doing, Samsung. I see that you're trying to, quote unquote, replace laptops. Can it be done? No. Not until. And yeah, you could probably stream Steam games or you can use this app called Parsec where you can uh, 
stream your PC to your phone so you can actually play PC games right on your phone by streaming from your computer to your phone. But that just defeats the purpose. Your computer is still on for you to stream the uh, game or whatever onto your phone. So why do all that when you can just carry this? So for the phone to try to replace a laptop to give you that desktop experience where you're going to still need a monitor, it doesn't fly with me. What flies with me? Just get yourself a nice, and I would say too cheap, but cheap enough where you got the power that you need to do the things that you want to do on your PC. So, like I said, I got lucky with this one, uh, 362 and some change, you know what I'm saying? And this is the 8 gig, vari 8 gig variant um, of RAM and 256 gigabyte of SSD space on here. Um, I, I made up like a fat cat on here. This is the best computer that I've bought aside from the service book that I talked about. But like I said, um, Samsung replacing this ain't gonna happen. So uh, be your own judge though. This is just my opinion and what I like to do. But uh, when it comes to you and your spending dollar, you do and get what you want for the things that you want to do. So if you think that the Samsung Dex experience is gonna be is gonna be good enough for you where you can do everything that you need to do on just that one device where it's portable you could just put it in your pocket and even carry the uh, dock peripheral also in your pocket to do all that and, and be able to do all your work business wise then definitely do that definitely get that but for the raw power of the PC to play PC games to play uh, certain PS4 games that's um, through Steam on your PC, such as Final Fantasy 15, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, things like that, then definitely keep your PC as I am. So until Samsung and the PC world merge together, where your phone can be a laptop, you know what I'm saying, and have a portable keyboard, mouse, whatever, or whatever for it, and to be absolutely portable where you can carry everything in your pocket, then definitely I would uh, welcome the Dex experience with open arms. But until then, PC for me. Hope you like the video, hope you like the information. Like I said, um, that's just my opinion. Do what you gotta do. But if you like the video, definitely leave a thumbs up. Um, leave comments if you want to. Um, in the comment section, ask questions if you need to ask questions about my setup or whatever. Um, Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Um, tell your friends about my channel, and I hope to see you in my next video.